This brings me, however, to Nobody's Daughter Haywon, which is um, a film directed by Hong Sang-soo, who has made 14 features, Korean director made 14 features, loads and loads of international awards, um, uh, Bear nominations at Berlin, and he won um, he won an Uncertain Regard at the Cannes Film Festival, and he was nominated for Palm Doors. And yet, as far as I understand, this is his first feature to open in UK cinemas. So the story is there's a young girl who's uh, she's been a student, she's been studying film, and her mother is on about to go to Canada. And she suddenly realises that she's kind of alone in the world and there are these very sort of strange low-key parting scenes and the central character is very open and sort of almost playfully honest and suddenly realising that she needs some order in her life makes a fairly poor decision to rekindle a relationship with her old film professor who was an older married man. And the film watches as the set of social circumstances play out. There's one extended sequence in which she and the and her ex-lover end up in a bar with a bunch of drunken and slightly sort of increasingly quarrelsome students. And, and this is a very, very long single take. And as you watch it, you see all these different social interactions unfolding. And it's a it's a I thought it was a lovely film, partly because its central character is you know, somebody who seems genuinely lost and it's beautifully played and it takes its time with its shots. It's, you know, sometimes things feel massively over-directed, like a director is telling you at every moment, look at this, look at that, you notice this, you've seen this, look at this. This is much more that style of standing back and allowing the actors... I mean, funnily enough, it reminded me to some extent of we were talking about The Weekend earlier on, in which I think one of the things that Roger Michel does is he's very good at filming people in rooms. He always has been. And he's good at giving. Sorry, them, can you explain that? Yeah, he's good what's, at. What's the big deal about filming someone in a room? He We're gives all them in rooms. Yeah, no, it's it's harder than you think, and he's very good at giving people the spa, giving actors the space to behave naturally in indoor in setting. A room. Yeah, and you, I'm sorry, it sounds like an easy thing to do, but it genuinely isn't. And in the case yeah. of this. He's very good at filming people in rooms and in open spaces. And what you get which is, is sing- kind of everything. Which is kind of everything. You get single shots in which it's not to do with the camera telling you what to do. It's to do with what's going on in the shot. There's also this strange recurrent musical motif, which is this pop version of Beethoven's Seventh, which I was talking to Trevor Johnson about this earlier on because he likes the film. I think I like the film. Who's Trevor Johnson? He's a journalist and uh, he's a film specialist and a uh, beautiful film writer. No! Time out. Yes. Fangoria? Uh, not as far as I know. One out of three. Absolutely. One of the most beautiful writers. I mean, he just he writes sentences that you read and you would just want to weep. Um, but he's a classical music specialist as well. And he said that well, he had found it intolerable to listen to this pop version of Beethoven Seventh. I, however, being cheesetastic and thick, thought I quite like that. I might want to go. How does that one go? We, maybe we can put I that in the podcast. I can't sing it. You can find that in the pop version. Anyway, I thought Nobody's Daughter Hey One was very, very interesting and, you know, not perfect. Uh, an oddly incidental and seems at times to be sort of meandering round and around, but as it does so, it does so in a way which is far more profound as the drama goes on than you might possibly expect.